Hi, my name is Dylan. I'm an engineer on the search team and I'm just going to record a quick demo of using the search bar to navigate around GitLab. There's some convenient shortcut navigations you can do through the search bar in GitLab. So I'll just show you a quick example. Firstly, if you're looking at a project and you want to get to merge requests, you can type merge requests and you can see there's a link here in this project merge requests and it will navigate you to the merge request list for this project. That's one example of navigating around quickly. Another example is if you're anywhere in GitLab and you type user settings, you can quickly navigate to user settings and it will take you to your user settings. There's quite a few shortcuts built into here. There's even ones that take you to help pages. So if I type API help, I end up on the GitLab readme for the API. Um, there's quite a lot of stuff in here and I don't remember where it all, what it all does. So I'm actually just going to find the code that corresponds to this. So I know it'll be in a Ruby file somewhere and I should see the words API help and that will be corresponding to the code that actually generates all these autocompletes. So here it is in search helper. We can see all of the different autocomplete options. It seems like if you're in a project, you can navigate to files, commits, networks, merge requests, etc., etc., very quickly using these different keywords in the search autocomplete. You can navigate to these help pages, and you have some global ones for settings, SSH keys, dashboards, and if you're an admin, you can navigate to the admin section using this autocomplete. This obviously looking at this code, you can see this can be easily extended to adding more pages. We have lots of new features in GitLab since this was first created, and we may be able to conveniently navigate you to deeper levels, for example, maybe serverless or something, you know, under these different menu items, we might be able to navigate you to deeper sections. The other thing that this um, quick navigation can do for you is navigate you between projects. So, for example, whenever you're looking at any project, you can start typing the name of another project and jump straight to that. So this quick navigation can save you time um, in that regard as well. There are a few other autocompletes that it does in there. For example, group names. Some of these don't work as well as each other, but okay, that one worked well, which is worked fine. And you can navigate to the Git level group. So there's quite a lot of navigation you can do in here. And certainly the structure that is used to generate this could be extended quite a bit if we had more ideas of what people might use this for. The biggest challenge with this today is this is sort of a bit of a mystery feature that very few people know about, which is why I was making the demo because it's quicker for me to show somebody what it is rather than explain it because a lot of people don't even know that this is here.